Welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, we're going to talk about multiplication facts. Let's begin by talking about the product. The product is the result or answer when you multiply numbers. So sometimes instructions will say multiply. Sometimes they say find the product. If they're asking you to find the product, they want you to multiply. Now let's talk about the commutative property of multiplication. Commutative means that order does not matter. So it means the order in which you multiply values doesn't matter. So if we have a value A multiplied by a value B, and we're just using A and B to represent any number, that same number A and that same number B, the order that you multiply could be reversed and they're equivalent, you would get the same value. Let's put some numbers in. So if we have A represented as 3 and B represented with 4, 3 times 4 is equivalent or the same as 4 times 3. The order does not matter. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. What is multiplication? Multiplication is a shortcut for adding groups of the same number. I wonder if you've ever heard that, or if you think about multiplication as being a shortcut. You could also say that multiplication is a shortcut for repeated addition. Let's consider 3 times 4. This could be interpreted as 3 4s, 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is repeated addition, 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. Or we could interpret it as 4 3s, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 12. Instead, if you've memorized your multiplication facts, 3 times 4 is 12. So it's a shortcut. Let's talk about groups, still with the same multiplication fact 3 times 4. This means 3 groups of 4. These are integer chips, each representing 1. If I put 3 groups of 4 all together, I have 12. Now let's talk about 4 groups of 3 because it's commutative, so we could look at it in the reverse way. So if I make four groups of three integer chips each, we have 12 all together. Four groups of three, four times three is 12. We could also use the area model to represent multiplication. So think of this as a rectangle. If I find the area of this rectangle and this is one, two, three, representing three units, and then one, two, three, four units, three times four is 12. If I fill in the area of the rectangle, I have 12 chips. Three times four is 12. Now we could do the area model the other way. I could have three across and four for the height. Four times three is 12. Multiplication property of zero is really important to understand. It states that any number multiplied by zero will have a product of zero. So if you see zero in a multiplication fact, you instantly know that the product will be zero. Any number multiplied by zero equals zero. Let's place, replace n, which stands for any number, with a value. Let's use four. Four times zero is zero. Let's talk about the pattern with zero. We have zeros being multiplied by zero is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times two, zero. And we could keep going. There's no pattern here. Anything multiplied by zero is zero. If you think about going back to the area model or making groups, if you make zero groups of a number, you have zero. The identity property of multiplication 
says that any number multiplied by 1 will be equal to itself. So any number n multiplied by 1 equals that number. Let's use a number. 4 times 1 equals 4. So whenever you see a 1, you know the other number is the product. Here's a pattern. This is where our pattern starts with our multiplication facts. So you can see these are our 1s, our facts of 1. We're going to multiply by 0, we get 0. 1 times 1, our identity, equals 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Now let's look to see if we can identify the pattern. We go from our product of 0 to 1, which increases by 1. Our product of 1 to our product of 2 also increases by 1. Now we can see the pattern. It is repeatedly adding 1. There's our repeated addition. Let's talk about our multiplication facts with 2. We start by multiplying by 0. We have 0. 2 times 1 is 2. That's our identity. 2 times 2 is 4. We can see the pattern building. We add 2. We add 2, and we keep our pattern going with our repeated addition. 3 will result its own pattern, but I think you've got it now. We're going to increase our repeated addition by 3. 3 times 2 is 6. We're increasing by 3. Plus 3 is 9. Plus 3 is 12. And then to 15 and we would keep going by adding 3. But we memorize these to help us with our shortcut. We'll skip ahead to 9 so you can see that it increases. 9 times 0 is 9. We add 9. 9 times 1 is 9. Add 9. 9 times 2 is 18, or add 9. And we could keep going and repeatedly add 9 to get our multiplication facts. So although these multiplication facts are shortcuts to help you out with a repeated addition, you could always go back here if you're stuck or if you forgot one, you can go back and remember this pattern. Now it's contest time. I hope you'll accept the challenge. I would like you all to join the link in the description of the video and you're going to go to Quizlet and you're going to play the gravity game and you'll practice your multiplication facts as the asteroid facts fall. You'll enter your value into here, and we'll see how you do. So challenge yourself. See if you can get to that top spot. Again, the link is in the description of the video, or you have gotten it from your teacher. Thanks for joining me today about the multiplication facts, and I hope this helps you memorize and perform even better on your next math test. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, and I hope you're mastering math one video at a time.